So this is part two of the send. I'm walking down some street in Ithaca. There's a creek, a tiny creek right down here. And I parked my car, which is the side of the road, just loaded up on some bagels. So I'm refueled and I'm ready for part two of the fishing day. Don't really know what to say about part one. You guys are gonna have to watch the video. But this little creek, I think it's super overlooked. It's hard to park near it. It's hard to get down to it. And I think it's just a spot that most people wouldn't even think of fishing. And this year we got a ton of rain. So what that means for the tributaries is that the fish from the lake are all being called up because of the flows are just absolutely raging. And I'd imagine there being some Atlantic salmon, maybe brown trout in this little creek. I'll give you guys your first look at it right up here. Ooh, it is looking good actually. Wow, look at this spot. It's like so low key. We're gonna have to figure out a way to get down though. I can't get down there. Maybe I can get down this way, I don't know, I don't know. It's gonna be hard to get down to the spot apparently. Look at this place. It's literally right in the center of Ithaca. Not off the beaten path whatsoever. And yeah, that's gonna be the pool that all the fish will come up into. Probably gonna be loaded. Like this big. These fish are liking a spinner. Got him, got him, got him. Fish on. There we go. Oh, that's actually a rainbow trout. That's one of the wild bows out of this ecosystem. Okay. We'll take that. First fish land out here, a little wild rainbow. There he goes. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There's got to be some big landlocks in here. I just got him, got him. Fish on. What is that? Is that a wild brown? Or is that a salmon? I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's like a brown. Yeah. First brown of the day. Oh, that's a stocky. They cast after. That's pretty cool. So I've had the spinner on and now automatically getting a lot of bites. So that goes to show sometimes you just gotta find a lure and that's what'll work. This is such a cool spot too. I'm just stoked to be fishing it. Now the fish are biting, I feel like I might land something bigger out of here. There's definitely some bigger lake run fish in this tributary. Those fish didn't want the power bay worm, they didn't want the swim bait. All they want is a little spinner. How's it going? Me too actually. It's beautiful. I, not yet. Should I? All right, I will. I will after I fish. Thank you. Take care. That was a little rainbow he just got off. Alright guys, no more bites out of this pool right here, so I'm gonna start trekking upstream a little bit. A couple gentlemen who walked by were like, yo, you gotta go up this way because it's epic. So I'm just gonna adventure up the stream a little bit, see what lies ahead. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's an awesome, awesome place. This is a place that's right in the middle of Ithaca, New York. Literally, the city is like less than a mile that way. And you got this, right off the main road, literally a pull off right on the side. 
and I didn't end up catching giant fish out of this stream. They're in here though. Especially when you got a lot of rain during the fall, there's gotta be some big fish. And I'm gonna trek it out of the river right now, back to the car. Probably fish one more spot to end the day off. But thanks for tuning into the video. Hopefully you got something out of it just like I did. Insane views, a couple of fish catches along the way. All good stuff. So I will see you guys in the next one. But until next time, keep on getting out there. Keep on promoting positivity of fishing and keep on sending no matter what, no matter where you are. Explore wherever the send takes you. You might end up fishing a place in the middle of a city that looks like this. See you guys on the send. This creek is nestled literally in this place right here. Crazy, and I can't seem to escape getting soaking wet. <laughs> First spot of the day, just got drenched, but it wasn't even raining there. It was just the waterfall putting a mist on me. Now, it's starting to rain. I was like, yeah, I don't need my rain jacket for this spot. There's not gonna be any crazy waterfall like the last one, but <laughs> I guess I just can't catch a break from getting soaked. It's part of the scent. If you gotta risk it all, if you gotta go all out, and that's what's gonna make the day, that's what you're doing. So, back to the car now. Just want to say a couple last words for the video, but thanks for tuning in again. See you guys out there.